guys, welcome to Pratiksha. Last videos la liquidity ratios and current ratio, quick ratio oda explanation and sums paathom. So, inni ki number paaka poradhu solvency ratios. Solvency ratios is mainly known as long term solvency. Long term solvency na yenna. So, ippo number short term solvency padichurko. Short term solvency liquidity ratios la padichurko. Short term solvency na yenna as I already told. One year kulla pay panna kure amount or one year kulla number ki terkara cash or receivables. So, other just opposite the long term solvency. More than one year na adha long term solvency. More than one year na milkarka to solve our problems or to sort out our uh, liabilities to pay our uh, debts. So, idha la na long term solvency. So, next na na solvency ratios is also called as financial ratios. Financial ratios and solvency ratios are one of them. So, we don't have to confuse for it. And, we will see the solvency ratio of the meaning. So, I will just dictate it. These ratios show the long-term financial solvency and measure the company's ability to pay the interest regularly and to repay the principal amount, that is capital amount on maturity or in predetermined installments at due dates. So, in the ratio, it will help you. This ratio shows the long-term financial solvency or long-term financial position of a company and measures the enterprise ability to pay the interest regularly. So, one company order ability to measure it. Why do you measure it? To pay the interest regularly. Interest regular pay it and to repay the principal amount. So, maturity date or installments due dates we have to repay the principal amount or repay the principal amount or measure the solvency ratios. So, usually the following ratios are calculated to judge the long term financial solvency of the concern. So, number inga paathir kare in the types in the long term solvency or solvency ratios le kare in the types da it judges the long term financial solvency of the company. Or company order long term financial solvency ya in the types alla na in the following ratios alla na judge panada. So, let us go to the types now. We have four types. So, first type is long term solvency as we all know it is the uh, solvency ratio. So, in the solvency ratio one the four types are period. First type is debt equity ratio. Second one total assets to debt ratio and the third one proprietary ratio and the last one is interest coverage ratio. So, number first type or meaning paka poro. Debt equity ratio. Debt equity ratio establishes the relationship between long term debts and shareholder funds. So, in the long term debt and shareholder funds, either curriculum, long term debt is our external uh, equities, external equities, which is means number value and the number wanga kuriya debts or borrowings, other than long term debts, external equities, and our shareholder funds. So, shareholder fund is internal companies or funds. So, company ila number invest panna kuriya shareholder funds, the shareholder funds that is equity. So, our debt equity ratio or meaning in anna, it establishes the relationship between long term debts and shareholder funds. Idhil in the number So, next, what is the components of debt equity ratio. Debt equity ratio the components in and in the end important components or your ratio you can pack around and the first debt equity ratio debts and equities. So in the meaning in the end number easier kind of particular debts debts is what our long term debts or borrowings which is the external equities and equity equities are shareholder funds surplus that and all that is the internal equities. So, let us go to the next type. Total assets to debt ratio. So, total assets to debt ratio is easy on a meaning. In a meaning, total assets to debt ratio establish the relationship between total assets and long term debts. So, the same meaning as we saw in the debt equity ratio. Debt equity ratio is in a Debt equity ratio establish the relationship between debts and equities. So, here total assets and debt uh, long term debts. So, that is the meaning. So, the, this is our total assets to debt ratio meaning. And the next one is 
components of total assets to debt ratio enna components what are we used to calculate the ratios so total assets and long term debts so namba idu easy ah kandupidikalam namba enna types varudho enna ratio varudho adha namba enna na use pandromo adhu dhaan adoda components so appadi dhaan namba purichukrom edha vechu namba andha ratio va evaluate pandrom so inga namba debt and equity e vechu debt equity ratio va evaluate adhe mari total assets to debt ratio la assets and debts e vechu namba evaluate pandrom let us go to the next ratio proprietary ratio proprietary ratio depicts the relationship between the proprietor funds that is shareholder funds and the total assets so proprietary ratio oda meaning enna na it relates the relationship between the shareholder funds and the total assets coming to the next one proprietary ratio over a components idella vachu da namba proprietary ratio evaluate panna mudiyum so first one is shareholder funds which is the funds which we have uh, inside the company that is the internal equity and the total assets which the company has the full assets excluding the fictitious assets so coming to the next type interest coverage ratio so interest coverage ratio depicts the relationship between the net profit and the interest on long term debts net profit which means both Uh, net profit before interest and tax and the interest on the long term debts so interest coverage ratio na enna na adu it shows the relationship between the net profit before interest and tax the profit before interest and tax and the interest on long term debts so coming to the components of interest coverage ratio we have first one is net profit net profit which is the profit before tax and interest and the interest on long term debts okay guys let's see the uh, brief explanation of each ratios one by one 